Let us pray. Let us pray to Heavenly Father. Thank you for all your blessings and for giving us the opportunity to gather here to celebrate Gabrielle and Charlie's marriage. We trust that your love for your children will give them love, health, happiness for years to come. Amen. Everybody, please sit down. Dearly beloved and honored guests, we are gathered together here to join Gabrielle and Charlie in the spiritual union of marriage. You have come here to share the formal commitment that they make to one another, to offer your love and support in this union, and to follow Gabrielle and Charlie to start their married life together, surrounded by the people that they most important to them, that are, or they are the most important to them, sorry. So we welcome all who have traveled from near and far. Gabrielle and Charlie, thank you for your presence here today, and now ask for your blessing and lifelong support in their decision to be married. Just a quick little note. Um, <laughs> I understand that uh, I am standing in the ceremony of standing in between a cold and refreshing drink, but a quick little, quick little story. Back whenever Charlie was a little boy and his brothers, when they would start to tell a story, I used to say to them, is this going to be a long story? Is this, is this almost over? So that used to be funny when I was telling the joke, but now for the last five or ten years, they've been telling me that, Uncle Bob, is this going to take a long time? Is it almost over? So, again, I have everybody in a position where I want them. This is going to take as long as necessary. So I promise you, between your cold and refreshing drink, it's going to be a quick 90 minutes. I, I trust you. It's going to be quicker than you think it's going to be. Uh, marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relations. No ceremony can create, can create your marriage. Only you can do that. Through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through ta talking and listening, helping and supporting, and believing in each other. Through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, to learning to make the important things matter, and to letting go of the rest. Now, for the first reading, Joe Prokofi. Charlie and Gab, I'd like to ask you to hold hands so that I read this. Love each other from this day forward, and these will be the bands that hold you tomorrow, and the next day, and the next decade. These are the bands that will work alongside yours as you build your life together, the bands that will touch you with love and tenderness through the years, and the bands that will come for you like no others can. These are the bands that will hold you through grief, fear, and hardship. These are the hands that will wipe tears of joy and sorrow from your eyes, and the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will hold your family together and that will give you strength when you need it. These are the hands that, when wrinkled and spotted with age, will still be reaching for yours. Thank you. Gabrielle and Charlie will now take part in a tree planting ceremony to symbolize the roots of their relationship and the continued growth of their love as they become each other's family today. Love is the essence of human experience and emotion. It is the root of all and everything we as humans do. Love richens our experience and fills our love with meaning. It gives us a firm base from which to grow, to learn, and change. Let your relationship and your love for each other be like this tree you plant today. Let it stand tall during the harsh winds and rains and storms and come through unscathed. Like a tree, your marriage must be resilient. It must weather the challenges of daily life and passages of time. And just, just like the tree you are planting, marriage requires constant nurturing and nourishment. As you provide the sun, soil, and water for this tree, you will provide the encouragement, trust, and love needed on a daily basis to 
consistently nature and nourish your connection to each other. Gabrielle and Charlie, today you stand before us ready to share the rest of your lives together as a married couple. But long before today, your parents provided you with the foundation of love and caring which has brought you to this point. We will start by adding dirt from Gabrielle's childhood home and dirt from Charlie's childhood home. This dirt symbolizes their individual families, but it is through their years of love and support that have helped shape who Gabrielle and Charlie are today. A man and a woman who are ready to be committed in a loving marriage of their own. Okay. Wedding vows. Charlie, please repeat after me. I, Charlie. I, Charlie. Take you, Gabrielle. Take you, Gabrielle. To be my wife. To have and to hold you from this day forward, to have and to hold you from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, I promise to love you and cherish you. I promise to love you and to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Gabrielle, please repeat after me. I, Gabrielle, I, Gabrielle, take you, Charlie, take you, Charlie, to be my loved husband, to be my loved husband, to have and to hold you from this day forward, to have and to hold you from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, for richer or poorer, mm -hmm. in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. I promise to love you and cherish you. I promise to love you and cherish you. And be faithful to you. And be faithful to you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Now the second reading, Shannon Sotsman. They say they will love, comfort, honor each other to the end of their days. They say they will cherish each other and be faithful to each other always. They say they will do these things, not just when they feel like it, but even for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, when they don't feel like it at all. In other words, the vows they make could hardly be more extravagant. They give away their freedom. They take on themselves each other's burdens. They bind their lives together. The question is, what do they get in return? They get each other in return. There will always be the other to talk to, to listen to. There is still someone to get through the night with, to wake into the new day beside. They both still have their lives apart as well as a life together. They both still have their separate ways to find. But a marriage made in heaven is one where a man and a woman become more richly themselves together than the chances are either of them could ever have managed to become alone. Thank you. Okay. George? As you, Charlie, place this ring on Gabrielle's finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. I give you this ring for you to wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end, as a ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my wife this day and forevermore. I choose you to be my wife this day and forevermore. Gabrielle, please place this ring on Charlie's finger. Repeat after me. I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end. As a ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. 
I choose you to be my wife this day and forevermore. I choose you to be my husband this day and forevermore. There we go. All right. The commitment you two have made for each other today is deeper than the vows we've heard. It is a personal commitment to a lifelong partnership. It is an agreement based on trust that you both will support and encourage each other as much today as 10, 20, even 50 years from now uh, that you do today. It is love that will allow the relationship to thrive through good and bad. It is love that will accompany everything you do as an individual and as a wonderful couple we, hear, we see here today. By the power vested in me by the American Marriage Ministry in the state of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may finally kiss the bride. <laughs> It is, with, it is with great satisfaction and pride to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Charlie Percope. Pictures. 